Hi, welcome to the Gapster channel. Today I'm going to talk about this guy. It's, uh, it's a noise detector, kind of, uh, or is it? Let's check those switches. Whoa. Dimmer switch. Not a good thing for you. Possibly transformers or wires close to the surface, especially with the switch here. So we're gonna explore what's this thing about. Probably seen me uh, sniffing around with this thing sometimes and some people wonder, uh, can you tell us where it is, where do you get that? And so uh, let's talk about it a little bit. Uh, what this is, is uh, it's actually a line, uh, a line tracer. So what it does is, uh, let's say electricians sometimes are running bundles of uh, electrical wires and they want to know which one is which. Okay, so what they do is they, it comes, uh, you buy it in two parts and it's not very expensive. It's something uh, close to $50, uh, it could be less even. I'll double check. I'll put a link below. It's uh, you could get it from Amazon. There's too many different kinds, so they're all fairly similar. So this is the uh, basically you plug this on the line uh, and you put it on, and when you push this on, it detects the line. And it's fairly sensitive uh, from quite a distance. So here we can see the transmitter part. So I've got it turned on here. And that transmits a signal, you can hear it. So let's say you have a bundle of wires. Well, this is just a quick example, but we have two here. But let's say you have five or six, they're 50 feet long, and you want to know which one is which. So you hook up the transmitter on one of the wires, and you could see that this is the one, and that's not the one. And so that solves the mystery and it's a very helpful tool. So that was the other part of the uh, transmitter. So those two, you can buy them separately or you can buy them together. Often they come together, but some of the expensive ones, they come separately sometimes. Uh, this one is a little bit more expensive than most, but that doesn't mean it is much better, but uh, it's still, that's one I have. So that's what it's for, mainly, uh, mainly. But what uh, you can use it for is, uh, you can use it to sniff around because it's, it's quite sensitive to quite a, a wide band, and mostly in the audible range. And it's going to give you a little idea of if uh, the appliance or whatever it is, is it really super noisy or not. Uh, please bear attention that this is... Uh, not, not, not going to tell you if a power supply, the output of it is noisy, but if it's the actual, if the actual power supply itself is emitting noise uh, from the outside and, and, and sending noise to uh, pollute other equipment, even your line, uh, electrical line. So uh, let's uh, just do a quick thing about this and uh, we'll uh, just give you an idea what's it for. Again, take it for a grain of salt. This is not really, you know, it's not really an actual noise uh, tester. It doesn't tell you anything. It's very vague. And uh, some will argue that it doesn't even do nothing. But nevertheless, if something is making tons of noise versus something making hardly any, I'm sure that particular appliance is doing something that's noisy. So uh, let's have a look at this. started one day, I was just trying to uh, just play with it and say, oh, does it like sniff noise? I'll test a few, so I'll test thing. Okay, my Denifrips here, this thing here, this Macintosh here. And then I have a no. So I got to this. It's a CD player. It's actually a pretty well-known CD player. It's not cheap. It's like over a couple of grands. And, uh, I was like, what the heck, why is this screaming like that versus none of these make any noise like this. Even like uh, I've got, uh, let's turn it here. 
So if you look, let's see on my Luxman uh, amplifier, this is like, it's got super huge, massive transformers and they don't make huge noises like that. And, uh, and so I figure, damn, okay, well, this is, uh, at least it will let you know if you have some really faulty uh, equipment in here. So I wanted to know what's going on in this CD player. So I took the cover off. I'm trying to see uh, what's what's going on. So this is plugged in. You could see where the transformer is. It's really bad. And if I turn it off, it's still bad. And it travels for a long, quite a ways. And even with the cover on, like uh, you'd think it's isolated, but not really. And uh, it's got a couple, uh, basically transformers, especially this one here. It's definitely, uh, definitely not a good transformer by the looks of it. So, so that's one application where you could use this thing. But again. Uh, a lot of times this may not sniff much noise or it might react to other things. So it's not a 100% thing, but still when you get something like this, you know there's something not right and this is definitely not a good transformer. So in comparison, this is the uh, medical grade transformer. It is actually plugged in right now. And look how that, very little. That's how it should be. And uh, yeah, so it's definitely, uh, definitely, uh, definitely not, not uh, the same over there. Another thing you can test is uh, power supplies. So this is a switching power supply and uh, you could hear the noise, noise on it. And uh, if we plug in a different one, let's try. Let's try this one for example. It's another similar power supply. Much quieter. So they are not all the same. It's another switching power supply. It doesn't ripple like the other guy. One more thing. So we're going to compare two cables. Uh, you know your regular cables that sometimes come with your uh, with your DAC or CD player or whatever it is. So this one is a regular uh, cable. But we're going to plug into something at least is doing something. And uh, in this case, we're just looking at the cable, not the actual power supply. So you could see, because this is not shielded, you can actually, if you have other sensitive uh, uh, line inputs, let's say coming from your phone stage, really close to a power cable like this, you're going to probably get some noise coming from it. So it's always good to keep your power cords away from interconnects. Make sure you have a little bit of distance. Even better, if you could get shielded cables, that would be even be better. In this case, we're using a shielded cable. Uh, we're going to plug it to exact same, same power supply that we had the other cable plugged into. And uh, you could see the noise is, is much less. Why? Because this is shielded. And uh, that's why you should always use shielded ca power cables. I'm not saying go and spend, you know, $500 and a couple of grants to, for a cable. Uh, it's just a regular, uh, this is from Amazon. I think they're about 50 bucks, something like that. It's a very good uh, cables inside. They're really connect, they're like thick uh, OFC copper and shielded. Shielded is the key and that's going to make a huge difference. Now, whether you want to spend a fortune on a power cable, that's a different story for another video, but uh, at the very least, keep your interconnect away from your power cables. That's step one. And step two, use as much as possible shielded cables, because as much as you try to keep them away from each other, before you know it, you have a big spaghetti of wires behind all your components, and they're all connected and so close together and they're gonna be radiating onto each other. So just to summarize, this is, you know, a cheap device to cheaply test some things around your house. And if 
worst comes worst, you could use it as a, as a line tracer in case you're running some cables and you want to know which one is which. If you are using power cables, though, make sure there's no power in the cable. So turn the power off and then test your lines. Uh, so it's, it's not a bad device for the price uh, and you can pick them out anywhere. Uh, but it has its faults. It's not really the greatest thing. I'm working on another uh, uh, noise uh, probe. Uh, this one's going to be by, it's by Mr. Carlson's lab. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with his channel, he's an amazing man, really great personality. And you, 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 have, he teaches you a lot of things. Uh, it's a really great channel. Anyway, so I'll be working on uh, uh, making a probe uh, from Mr. Carlson's lab. I already had the uh, the, uh, the the circuit uh, etched. So here you could see the uh, I've already etched the uh, PCB board. There's two of them. This is for the amplifier section. I'm going to be using a cigar uh, container because they're perfect probe material. And uh, but that's a story for another video. And, but I'll put a link uh, about uh, the Mr. Carlson's lab in the description below. Uh, also, if you check his Patreon, you can get some more details and what's on the videos as well. And, uh, but yeah, so uh, we'll keep, uh, uh, keep uh, posting you guys on the progress of that probe. And uh, also there's a, he talks about doing even a newer probe. So, uh, hyper probes we're going to check that one out uh, when it comes out as well so i'm going to be working with some of these probes because uh, the probe that i'm building here you can actually test if a resistor is noisy and that's really critical like let's say you have a uh, you're working on a circuit we want to know if uh, say like an old tube amplifier where we want to know if those old resistors are actually good or actually creating lots of noise so that's very very helpful tool anyway it's got many many other uh, good uh, features more than uh, what our probe here can do but you know for the money for that fifty dollars or thirty dollars whatever it is you can't go wrong i mean you, you really can't go wrong you, you, know, you can use it for anything else so so but use it with a grain of salt that's all i'm saying i hope you like this quick video and uh if you uh if you seems to like this channel uh, please subscribe uh, hit the like button all that stuff and i hope to see you again in the next video uh, if you like to see some of my videos on uh, the speakers I've built, I'll put a link for them up here. And if you like to see uh, links about uh, uh, some uh, music that you can listen on your hi-fi system, I'll put a link for that over here. Take care and we'll see you next time.